Brian. Yes. Did you notice there's something wrong with my picture? No, it looks fine there's to me. There's kind of glow or something in front of my glasses. There is a glow in front of yeah. your glasses. Yeah. If yeah. it's a light, well, don't walk towards it. Right? It's, an, mm. it's, it's definitely a reflection. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mikey. Mikey who? My key doesn't fit in the keyhole. <laughs> we found the demo. Hey, Granny. Who's <laughs> who's there? John no, Pickett. We, we, we didn't knock knock yet. <laughs> Jesus Christ, help me. <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Maybe it's a big horse. Maybe it's a big horse who? Maybe it's a big horse I'm a Londoner. Huh. You read that. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard the others? Craig, sure. Jacob Walton says, knock, knock. Uh, no, who's there? The. The who? <laughs> this is the worst show we've ever done. <laughs> I watch so much wrestling, I'm sick. Same. Somebody else came out and attacked Becky to give Trish the win. All right, who's calling? I'm I'm on the show. Bye. Undertaker versus X Pac and Roadhog. Okay. <laughs> what is Undertaker's uh, theme song? His theme thong? His theme thong. <laughs> His theme song. <laughs> Can I just say the middle part of this pay per view, it was fine, but it was no more than fine. This was an AEW slash indie wrestling crowd. Okay. They liked guys who were AEW originals. They loved Orange Cassidy. They loved Ricky Starks. They loved Chris Stanlander. Brody King mm. is one of their favorites. And then they loved the four-way because the AEW pillars. They were not into guys like Chris Jericho or Jeff Jarrett or FTR who have been stars on Raw for years. They were not into Christian Cage. This was an all-elite wrestling fan base with little interest for any other promotions. As I noted in my Sports Illustrated column, the build for this left a lot to be desired. But I watched this match, and when it was over, I thought, you know what? All of these men are better because of this match. This will help every single one of them. They are all bigger stars now because of this match that they had in the, well, it turned out to be the semi-main event of the pay-per-view. Main event! Anarchy in the arena. As promised, as delivered. Complete fucking chaos out of control from start to finish. Juice strikes Dax with a roll of quarters, lays him out. Ricky Starks finally chases them away with a chair. They'll be doing a six-man, it looks like, at some point, which means they're going to need a third member of Bullet Club Gold. Mabel, perhaps. And that then, will be news. Our latest major announcement from Tony Khan. Collision's debuting June 17th. It'll be in Chicago, and it will, in fact, feature very long pause CM Punk and boy did that get a mixed reaction I mean if you've been following this story for the last yeah. eight months uh -huh. it is a very polarizing story yes it sure is there are people that are so happy that he is coming back mm -hmm. and there are people so angry that he is coming back and so I think that what we're going to get on Saturdays is that uh, John Cena reaction Half the crowd cheering him, half the crowd booing him, and they've all chosen a side, so they're going to try and boo and cheer each other down, and it may be an incredible reaction for quite a while. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> Tony Schiavone interviews Don Callis and Kineske Takeshita. Wow! <laughs> Best on promos, 2023, the San Diego AEW audience. He's booed like you've never seen before. And there are some pictures of angry fans that Dude, there's, are so there's, fucking hilarious. There's, there's shots. There, there's a close-up one. Like The guy's got tattoos on his face, which almost makes me think he might be a plant, but he is just like snarling, and the veins are popping out. He's sweating. He may have a, a, an aneurysm right here, but just from hating Don Callis so much. My God, Tony Schiavone. I've heard this man mark out for Sting for some 35 years. This was in the top five. <laughs> I haven't seen a man that excited since... Uh, uh, Dave found out that Ringo Starr was uh, doing a performance in Vegas mm. in the same casino in which we were eating dinner. So he left, and uh, so he ditched you. Yeah, for Ringo eventually Starr. he came back. Right. You know, about ten minutes later. Uh, apparently, he couldn't do what he does at like a, a you know, a 
GCW show or whatever, where he just he starts heading towards the guy who's taking tickets, and then he just storms past him going, I'm Dave Meltzer, and just goes right in the building, and the guy's like, huh? And Dave's long gone. He's lost in the crowd by that point. Is that how it works? Yeah, it, it didn't work like that to get in a Ringo star. The time is running out on his uh, bidding war angle. This company is running out of gladiators for me to slay, and you know it. You know, I don't think they're running out of gladiators. They got this. He's only faced deep. like three people. He this is, time I believe right. he has defended the title twice. Yeah, <laughs> Danielson, the I Iron Man. I think there's some more this... guys that might be available. Yeah, this is the best feud in AEW: Britt Baker versus Chris Jericho. Yes, these two are just. I shouldn't say these two. He's not doing anything to her, but she's killing him. <laughs> she is. She's getting revenge for all those times she got hurt. She's taking it out on Chris Jericho. <laughs> it's his fault. So we watched one match from NXT Battleground. Dijak versus Ilya Dragunov, last man standing. Was it the best match I ever saw? No. Was it the quickest I've ever gone from the opening bell to this is one of my favorite matches ever? I think so. Like five seconds in, I was like, this match is fucking great. <laughs> so this Tony D has uh, has attempted to murder multiple people. But Gallus are the bad guys because they snitched. Tony D murderer is a baby face the men who have turned him into the police so that justice can be served to the friends and families and victims they're the bad guys because they turned him in yeah i cannot let my child watch this show <laughs> man they put her out here in the shark tank five minutes live tv here's some pictures of you and a microphone carry the segment and she's shaking, like literally physically shaking. Her voice is quavering. She's very nervous, uh, vis visibly nervous. And I felt so bad for her. She's just doing the best she can with a very difficult job. This guy says she should have taken a shot before the segment. That is not the worst idea. No, that okay? would have that helped. That is not the worst idea. But not be the first time a wrestler has done that. Fixes Booker. It's Blair Davenport. She's back. And Booker T, clearly has never seen one second of Blair Davenport film. <laughs> no. Never heard the name Blair Davenport in his life. There's, I swear to God, 12 seconds of awkward silence. And Booker says, hmm. There we go. <laughs> That's all he had to say. And then as he is celebrating, he is attacked by one Baron Corbin. You know the most over that Baron Corbin ever was was in NXT? He was. When he had that lone wolf gimmick and he beat everybody in under 30 he seconds. Was, he was a big, giant, scary guy who killed people. Yeah. And that got over. Weird. Yeah, it's crazy how that works. Yeah. Then he became a constable. Uh, that was a show. It was. It had its ups and it had its downs. Boy, did it have its Let downs. Let me tell you. 